Welcome to Reflections for the unchurched, the underchurched, and those who just want a little more church. Like last week, I have chosen scripture from one of Paul's letters. A reading from Paul's letter to the Ephesians. Be careful then how you live, not as unwise people, but as wise, making the most of the time because the days are evil. So do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery. But be filled with the Spirit as you sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourselves, singing and making melody to the Lord in your hearts, giving thanks to God the Father at all times and for everything in the name of the, our Lord Jesus Christ. Here ends the reading. Give thanks to God the Father at all times. A sign of old age is, or at least in my mind, a belief that people, particularly the younger generations, are not grateful enough for the incredible lives they have. Do you see children or grandchildren mope and complain while living lives that are in the top five percentile of the world? Don't they realize that over one half of all people on earth earn less than $5 per day and that over 80 million people are added to the world's poor every year. Sadly, few know the facts, and even fewer, it seems, fully value their lives with heart-filled gratitude. Two important men in my life did, however, demonstrate the gift of gratitude. One grew up in coal country and as a child knew what hard work was, shoveling ash and coal for hours and learning to drive a coal truck at the age of 10. School sometimes took a back seat to earning enough money for the family's weekly paycheck. This man served in the Korean War and after military service, he worked in the coal industry until he retired. And for 25 years of marriage, his wife was riddled with cancer. And he spent every penny of his income to keep his daughters move, moving one step ahead while attending to the health needs of his wife. The other gentleman was fortunate, more fortunate in upbringing, but also understood the need for hard work running chain machines as a teen and learning how to run up to thousand ton molding machines led him past six o'clock most nights to do both office and factory work. He too served during the Korean War, but the war ended before he was deployed. My father-in-law, Joe Kovaleski, and my dad, Dick Woolworth, shared the gift of gratitude in abundance in their final years leading up to their deaths this past spring. Joe lived in our household for many years and most nights when he and I went to bed at the same time, he would shake my hand, look me in the eye and say, thank you. And my dad loved taking me out on the golf course, even in his final year at the age of 91 only to stop our cart on almost every hole and say, Andy, isn't this great? Thank you for being my best friend. Being around people of any age who are openly and regularly sharing their gratitude is a gift that I will never forget because of my two dads. For me, 
their grateful attitudes were a beacon of love that lured their children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren into their company where you sensed an immeasurable love. This week, I ask us all to be a beacon of gratitude for all of the blessings in our lives. Consider writing or calling a family member or friend who you haven't talked to in a while to tell them how much you value them. Thank them for what you like most about them. Know that others will be affected by your outpouring of thanks. You will be practicing what my two dads and Paul are asking us to do, and that is to give thanks to God at all times. Amen and thank you. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. My song choice this week is Grateful, a love song to the world. It will amaze you and fill you with incredible gratitude. Enjoy. Enjoy.